The conversation as far as player of the year heading into this past weekend was a simple one. It was Scotty Scheffler in a cakewalk. He won the Masters back in April and add to that five other titles, most of them signature events, and so it was easily going to be Scotty Scheffler. Then Xander Shoffley showed up at Royal Troon, and he won the Open Championship to get his second major of the year, which begs the question, who do you pick as player of the year in 2024? Here's how the two match up head-to-head so far this season. Scotty's played in 16 tournaments so far. Xander's played in 17, just one more. Scotty's got six wins, you know, the Masters win and five others, most of them signature events. Xander's just got the two wins, but both majors. They each have two runners up, so a finish second twice on top of their wins. Then as far as top 10 goes, Scotty's got 14 top 10s, Xander just 12. Then the majors, obviously Xander's got the edge with two, the PGA Championship and the Open. And then Scotty's got his Masters title, just the one major this year. As far as prize money goes, Scotty's just over $28 million, while Xander just under $16 million, so Scotty got the edge there. So Scheffler won the Arnold Palmer Invitational back on March 10th. A week later, he wins the Players, which many call the fifth major. Then in April, he wins the Masters. Less than two weeks later, he wins the RBC Heritage. Falls out up June 9th, winning the Memorial, another big-time tournament. And then he also wins the Traveler. So most of his wins are in signature events on top of the Masters title as well. Then you got Xander, who won the PGA Championship. And then he just won the Open Championship. To me, it's not even close. It's still Scotty Scheffler by a mile. I've seen a bunch of articles this week, Golf Digest, Golf Weekly, and a lot of them saying, oh, sorry, Xander just won Player of the Year. And I'm not buying that. It's still Scotty Scheffler. I mean, you go through it. He's played one less event, six wins. I mean, the guy's teed it up 16 times this year. He's won six times and finished second twice. And he's only finished outside the top 10 twice in 16 events. I mean, it's not even close. Look, Xander, outstanding. Two majors. Hasn't been done since Brooks Kepka did it in 2018 when he won the U.S. Open of the PGA Championship.